My name is Jörg Schmitz. I'm a partner in the Swiss firm where I'm overseeing the people and sustainability agenda. In our practice, we focus on supporting our clients to develop a more sustainable, resilient and high-performing workforce. And today I would like to share with you a project we've been working on to improve diversity, equity and inclusion in the aviation industry. I'm Jane Hoskinson. I'm the Director of Talent, Learning, Engagement and Diversity at IARTA. And it's the diversity part which really plays into the sustainability piece. So I actually look in two ways at sustainability of people. I look internally at what we do at IOTA, look externally on a really big project that we have for the aviation industry. So IOTA is a global trade association and we represent over 300 airlines around the world. And our job is to represent, lead and serve the industry. And um, several years ago, one of the things that we noticed was that actually it's not very representative when it comes to gender. And so we set up a project to look at how we could get better representation, better female representation at the most senior levels of organizations. And that was started in 2019. And despite the pandemic, we have 201 signatories who've made a commitment, a very public commitment to ensure that they have at least 25% female representation or improve from where they currently are by 25% by the year 2025. Now, it's a little bit more than just setting targets. It's really about making sure that we work together, that we share best practices, that we collaborate. And we always say that in regard to to improving diversity and inclusion for the industry, collaboration is absolutely critical because we want to empower women to really embrace an industry that has a massive role to play in the future and um, and creating a, a very sustainable aviation industry for the future. What is unique about the work that we're doing is that we're looking at the entire industry and taking an approach that is specifically tailored to aviation. So how are we doing this? We're designing and we've designed a tool that is free for each of the 25 by 2025 signatory to use. Um, It's a self-assessment survey that provides each organization with a robust maturity assessment, recommendations that are tailored to them, as well as a point of comparison against the rest of the industry. We're really proud of the final results. So let me show you what it looks like. So we built this survey based on uh, our maturity framework to assess how each organization is doing across those five dimensions, strategy, governance, policies and processes, business context and culture. What is important is that this survey is not about just attributing a score or a maturity rating. It's focused on continuous improvement. So no matter whether organizations are boarding, taking off or in flight in their DEMI journey, um, there is always room for improvement and recommendations for each of them. So the survey really provides us with an opportunity to take a look across the industry at where we're doing. So obviously each organization can take a look at their own assessment, but it gives us the ability to take a really holistic look and we'd be able to look at at the different trends in different regions. Where are some airlines doing really well? And of course, the interesting thing is it gives us access to a lot of data, which we can correlate with the success indicators of 25 by 2025. So it opens up a whole new kind of aspect for us um, to be really data driven about the way that we think about diversity and inclusion and and make a shift from what we've seen before from the airlines which is you know we all know that this is in, intuitively the right thing to do but actually it's not just the right thing to do it makes business sense and by working on these best practices we can start to see how those best practices impact business outcomes for the organizations as well. But more than that, I think what the really important thing of working with PwC is, is about collaboration and really around kind of leveraging the expertise that PwC has to help us build a robust methodology that's really targeted to what we're doing with the airlines. And so it's been a such a positive collaboration. And I think that this is very unique. I think the airlines are really looking forward to having it because they've never seen anything like this before. So it's a really exciting project that we've worked on together and I'm delighted with how far we've progressed. 
Through positive collaboration and a shared commitment to our sustainability agenda, we are paving the way for a brighter and more inclusive future in the aviation industry.